Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. This is a guide all about how to find the highest common factor of two different numbers. So first of all, we're going to look at what is meant by the highest common factor, also known as the HCF. What this means is we need to find the biggest times table that we say two different numbers in, in this case, 120 and 150. First of all, we need to find the products of prime factors for each number. If you're not sure what this means, I've got a video on how to do this, so watch that first. So I need to start by finding two numbers that multiply together to make 120. I'm choosing 10 and 12. I then need to keep multiplying until I'm only left with prime numbers, which I'm going to circle. I'm then going to repeat this for 150. Once you're left with just prime numbers that have been circled, you need to draw two interlocking circles. These don't need to be perfect. Now, I'm going to try to pair up as many numbers as possible with the same number in each of the two trees for 120 and 150. So I can pair up these two fives and put them in the middle of the circles. Then this two can be paired up with this one, so they can go in the middle too. Then this three can be paired up with this three. So again, it goes in the middle. For this two, there's no other twos on the 150 tree. So that has to go in the left circle, as does this two. And then this five on the 150 tree can't be paired up with another five on the 123. So that goes on the right circle. Now, for the HCF, you only need the numbers in the overlapping bit of the circle, and you'd need to multiply these together. So 5 times 2 times 3. So 5 times 2 is 10, times 3 is 30. So 30 is the biggest times table, you say both 120 and 150. For this one, we're finding the highest common factor of 84 and 120. So again, I'm going to do my factor trees for both numbers. And I keep circling each time I write a prime number and add more branches if a number isn't prime. You will get marks for this stage of the question, so make sure you show your workings. Then once that's done, I'm going to do my overlapping circles again and start pairing off the numbers. So this 7 can't be paired with another 7 on the 120 side, so that goes on the left hand side. This 3 can be paired up with this 3 over here, so that one goes in the middle. This 2 can be paired up with this 2, so they go in the middle. This two can be paired up with this two, so they go in the middle. So this five can't be paired up with another five on the 84 tree, so that goes on the right hand side. And so does this two. Again, for the HCF, I just need the middle part of the circle. So three times two times two, three times two is six times two is 12. So for this last one, we're finding the highest common factor of 60 and 114. I'm starting by doing the factor tree for 60. Now for the 114, 
This is an even number, so I'm going to be dividing it by 2. Then I'm going to halve 114. Half of 100 is 50. Half of 14 is 7. So 50 plus 7 is 57. Now 57 is a tricky number to work out factors for. So I've got a video on how to find tricky factors. But 57 is divisible by 3. I'm going to use bus stop method to work this out. And put my 19 there and circling it because it's a prime number. So once again I'm drawing my two circles and I'm going to start pairing off the numbers. This three can be paired with this one so it goes in the middle. This two can go in the middle as well because it can be paired with that one. This five there's no other fives on the other tree so that has to go on the left hand side as does this two. And then this 19, there's not a 19 in the 60 factor tree, so that goes on the right hand side. The highest common factor, I just need the middle part of the circle, so 2 times 3 is 6.